Hey guys, welcome back. Another Raw Vegan Community video. I'm Pom Vincent. Uh, today is going to be another trick on cravings. I know the two, <laughs> I know two pretty crazy ways to deal with cravings. The, the most common ones. Because <laughs> people, well, not common ones. One is really common. The other one is not common, but it's kind of crazy. Uh, but it's not. It's really nice, really peaceful. It's really beautiful. Okay. So, I'll, I'll give out the first one. You roll yourself on the ground, you bang your head on the walls, you pull your hair, and you scream, and you send all that energy out, outward, upward. Don't send it to somebody. <laughs> it can be crazy, all right? Cravings, is, cravings are difficult. I get it. Uh, it's like cocaine addiction, nicotine, heroin. Cooked food addiction is real, all right? Um, weaning off it is real it's not it's not it's not a thing that we make up okay try to go without for a few days try to go raw raw vegan get a challenge 30 day challenge get a seven day challenge get a juice cleanse a juice a juice feast a challenge whatever you want there's all kinds out there uh, but you'll see you'll see okay long term too it's going to take one two years before you you you, you become your new habits because those habits they will build over time and they will become you all right so these these crises uh, of cravings might come all right i have tons of advices okay i i try to get my 30 day challenge is going to be like i'm not done with it but you can uh put put yourself on the wish uh, on the waiting list it's gonna it's a special price <laughs> discount uh but my cha my 30 day challenge is focused on removing cravings as much as possible okay i've been doing this yo yo diet for like 10 years i've been dealing with cravings and then f looking for new ways to deal with cravings not like those long term fruitarians who just switched and they stuck on the diet the, a lot of most fruitarians successful fruitarians there's not that many there's those who do it and they stick to it and those who go back and on and off, on and off, and eventually they might pick it up, like me. I'm on that path. It's kind of a, I'm not so proud of this, but there's two kinds of people who succeed on a fruitarian diet, actually. There's a very smart one or the very sick one, okay? I'm not very sick, and I'm a medium smart, I'd say. I'm, not, I'm no genius. You know, some people are just pretty damn clever. They just get it. They know fruitarianism, raw veganism, natural hygiene, you know, a mucusless diet is the way, and they just do it. And they have cravings. They're like, no, that is not food, you know. And then for a year or two, they they stick to it, and eventually they are that. And then it becomes very easy. But otherwise, you're in for a roller coaster, all right. But it can be. It doesn't have to be super hard. If you have a lot of good advices, and I have tons. Okay, watch my other videos. It's just coming. I have way more videos coming on cravings. But anyway, you can deal with it with this insanity way where you just roll on the ground, bounce your head on the walls scream pull your hair uh you know just send it out send it upward though very important and if you send it upward it's not that bad but don't eat cooked again stick to raw you know if, you, if you're detoxing too much and you're feeling sick and you're just tired of this okay steam some vegetables sure they will this will stop the detox you know it's like if you're doing a water fast you're detoxing detoxing and then you eat like a like a mango and then boom gone Unless you do uh, like more than a few days, you know, then you can get even crazier. But that's for another video. So the second option for dealing with cravings. My favorite, the one I advocate the most. And, I, and I'm talking about when you have the craving. It's not for uh, uh, making sure you don't have it, that you don't get those cravings. They will come, but you can avoid most of them, like I said. And those are other videos. But when it happens, when you have a craving and it can get pretty intense, okay, for any level of, of cravings, my favorite is meditation. Okay? Like you think, oh shit, meditation, but uh, you know, <laughs> I don't want to, uh, you know, you probably have tons of reasons why it doesn't work for you. You've tried or it's too, like, you need like two, three months to get into it, just like yoga just like Tai Chi, just like karate, whatever. You need to do it for like two hours a day for months. 
and then you'll get the advantages and then you'll you, you, you'll get into it and it will be more fun it's just like learning how to play a, 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 an instrument it's the same thing it's, you kind of need to put in the hours all right but that's true okay first that's true that's very true you know it's kind of why I don't do most practices that I've started in my life because you need to do it so intensively for months and then you know anyway so I've said that uh, but meditation the way I teach you know, the, the, the way not it's not for me is that I teach uh, vipassana all right It's very basic, it's barely vipassana, it doesn't have to be vipassana, it's just a non-dualistic approach, another one, uh, Eckhart Tolle, you know, like he's, he teaches the same, more or less the same thing, um, breathing in and breathing out. More precisely, feel the air coming into your nostrils when you breathe in, and when you breathe out, You feel the air coming out of your nostrils. You just feel like you feel it. The hair will come out and then you'll feel it. it. Sounds silly, I get it, but just feel the air coming in and out of your nostrils. All right? And when you do this, I promise you, you will not be thinking. You won't be thinking. Now your body thinking, now nah, it's impossible. If you stop thinking, then you're thinking, I'm not thinking, therefore you're thinking. No. No, 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 no. You just don't think, literally. All right, you can try it right now if you want. All right, you just breathe in. Look at that. No thoughts. <laughs> Zero thoughts. All right. So when you do this, you know it brings peace, brings calm, and then you can observe your thoughts better because they will come, obviously. But when they come, you observe without any criticism, without any second thoughts, without anything. Just, just don't think about it even more. You just let go. Let go of the thought. You breathe in, breathe out, do it a couple times, and then, oh, a thought comes. It's, oh, another one, another thought. Just let go, let go. Just I imagine a crow that comes and grabs it and just flies away with it. And I say, bye-bye. That's it. That's what I do. It's my little personal touch. Uh, when I have a thought, when I do meditation, I just let it go with a big crow, or should I say raven, like a big raven. And yeah, so that is my big advice uh, for dealing with cravings. You can either do it uh, <laughs> in an insane fashion, <laughs> or you can do it with a peaceful fashion. But the most important message is don't go back to cooked. There's no such thing as moderation. One time does not exist. Ask any drug addict out there as the AA program. You can do the AA program, by the way. But anyway, that's another video I'm going to make on this. It's really cool. <laughs> the 12 steps program for, uh, for, for eating, uh, stop, uh, to, to stop eating cooked food. Pretty sweet. So anyway, uh, yeah, don't eat cooked food. Stick to raw. You can do it. You're strong. This is, this is nothing. It's so worth it. And keep watching my videos, like and subscribe. And all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.